Hey everyone, James here. I just wanted to do another short video just to talk to you a little bit about what I've been doing with Blue over the past few days. Um, so we've had um, a couple of things I've wanted to do recently. So we've had a snake avoidance course running here at the farm um, today. So we've had Blue actually coming out and just sitting in his crate but watching all the other dogs doing their thing and that kind of thing. So it's really good for teaching him just that little bit of impulse control around lots of other dogs, just giving him an example of kind of what the world looks like when there's lots of people and lots of dogs and lots of stuff going on, um, which is really good for him. Obviously he's a bit too young to actually undertake that snake avoidance training yet, but obviously we will do that with him um, once he is old enough for that. Um, the other thing we did was, um, I think I put up yesterday, we took him to the vet for his second jabs. Yeah, so that went very well. He wasn't uh, keen on having the thermometer uh, put up for the where the sun doesn't shine. Um, but rather than whimpering and crying about it, he actually was starting to growl a little bit. And uh, I quite like that. It's, uh, it doesn't mean he's a bad dog. It just means, you know, that he's he's got that kind of personality. He's got quite a, a goey personality. And, uh, and that's what I want him to have. Um, now, what I was trying to do today was I wanted to think up an exercise that would help build his confidence. I'm all about you know building confident dogs, um, you know, basically helping dogs be the best version of themselves that they can be, um, but also that would harness into his kind of breed specific traits. Um, as you can imagine, you know, domestic dogs or pet dogs have only really existed for a hundred years or so. Before that, every dog was a working dog, and so they've been selectively bred over tens of thousands of years, you know, to do a task. Now, even though the fact that they've been pet dogs, you know, for, for 100 years or so, you can't get rid of tens of thousand years of selective breeding for a job with um, only a short amount of, uh, of pet dog kind of life. So dogs have breed specific behaviors that they like, you know, so gun dogs, you know, gun dog breeds like to retrieve things, yeah, you know, funnily enough. Um, herding dogs, you know, like to herd things. Um, guard dogs like to bite things, and so, with Blue, what we've obviously got here is a is a herding dog, but also a herding dog that likes to bite things. So I was thinking, okay, what do I need to do? I need to find something that will help build his confidence, but I need to think of a way of kind of doing that in a in a breed specific kind of way, in a way that he's going to enjoy the game. He's allowed to, or it, it helps him learn to chase or herd something, and also you know, give it a bit of a nip. Yeah, to get it moving. So what I did um, was actually got out a foam roller, you know, one from the from the gym, you know, one of those uh, long round circular things that you use to crack your back on, you know, after a hard session at the gym. And I got that out, and obviously that is a thing that rolls around. It's quite a big, heavy black thing, and it rolls, you know, if you move it. So initially he was pretty scared of that. He was there. Yeah, you know, it scared in his way. He wasn't certainly wasn't carrying away from it. He was bounding around the outside a bit, barking at it furiously and growling and, and all of that kind of thing. But over uh, the matter of a couple of minutes, you know, again without any prompting or assistance from us, you know, he pushed through his fears, which is what I want him to do. I wanted, I wanted him to learn, you know, how to build his own kind of self confidence. I wanted him to actually pluck up the guts to go and investigate this thing. So he started off by kind of tentatively sniffing it and that kind of thing and then started moving it around. Now, obviously this thing moves, you know, if you apply pressure to it in a certain direction. So what we found and that I was really happy about was he started off obviously just rolling it, you know, with his nose and moving it around, but then he actually started getting into the end of it and kind of banging it and actually nipping on it as though he was actually moving um, some cattle, you know, uh, just with what he's been kind of bred in the 1800s, you know, to do. So that's a fantastic little bit of enrichment um, for him there. In terms of everything else, he's going great, you know, sleeping through, toilet training's going well, you know, he's a nice, happy little dog. You know, he does, you know, we, we probably, he probably spends about 20 hours a day in his crate, which is about right, I think, for, for his age. At his age, they really should be sleeping, you know, by far the vast majority of the time. And all we do really is, in that instance, is when he's, as soon as he's tired, whether he's yawning tired or little snappy velociraptor tired, we just put him down in his crate, takes him a minute or two to settle, if that, yeah, he goes to sleep. Obviously what we do to make sure he doesn't suffer any kind of separation anxiety or, or any concern and make sure he feels like the pack's with him, we just take the crate wherever we are. You know, so this morning he was out with the snake avoidance and he was just in the crate, you know, right next to us where we were doing it. 
Um, and you know, this afternoon, you know, he's either next to the lunch table or he's you know next to the couch or whatever, just in his crate, having a nice uh, a nice little rest in there. Um, on the topic of separation anxiety, I've also started just building up the duration he's being by himself. So I'm using the dog box on my ute for this because that's where he will spend a certain amount of his time when I'm working. So I want him to get to get used to that environment, but also not to worry if I'm out of sight. So I've popped him you out know, today and yesterday, I popped him out there five minutes, 10 minutes, just by himself in the dog box, just while I went and ran another errand somewhere around the farm and I came back and got him out. So I'm incrementally getting him used to the idea of being by himself but also getting him you know, confident in the idea that I'm gonna come back you know, very soon. So he might as well just have a little order, have a lie down, chill out, relax, have a chew on the toys he's, he's got in there or something like that, okay? Um, as always, if you've got any questions, please put them up in the comments and we will answer. Um, but until next time, um, I hope everything's going well with your pups. Take care.